Luke Shaw has had a phenomenal start to this season for Manchester United. Rightly named Manchester United's Player of the Month for August. And he's got recalled to the England squad for the first time in a few years. He's been fantastic for Man United so far. Uh, and what I want to do is a video to explain why I feel Luke Shaw is so important to this Manchester United team this season and how much we need him to keep this form up. So much was said during the summer about Man United signing a centre-back. Is it going to be Toby out of Ireland? Is it going to be Harry Maguire? Is it going to be anybody else? But for me, the real problem of Man United last season was at fullback. We had Ashley Young and Antonio Valencia as our two fullbacks, two converted 30-plus wingers who were playing as fullbacks. And Valencia, for as good as he is as a right back, isn't a modern day right back. Young, as good as he is, will do a job at left back. He's not a modern day left back. Neither of them, they rarely overlapped. That made a big, big difference because it made United so narrow going forward. Rarely took a man on. Whenever Young had the ball down the left, you know he wasn't going to whip across him with his left foot. He was going to cut inside and fire in across with his right foot. That meant that Lukaku always had to cut his runs back inside. It took the pace out of United's attack. And the lack of pace from Young certainly made it almost impossible for him to be an overlapping modern day left back. I'm going to repeat, the lack of overlaps made United so narrow and so predictable going forward that United were easy to defend against. But Luke Shaw has changed that this season down the left hand side. Now the first thing Shaw brings, as I said, is those overlapping runs. It gives United an ability to create real width in this team. In this team that Mourinho is playing in this formation, our width relies on the fullbacks or the wingbacks overlapping. If we don't do that, we're going to see our two wingers who naturally cut inside, whether that's Sanchez or Martial on the left or Rashford or Mata on the right. They cut inside and there's no real width unless a fullback makes the overlapping run. Now, Shaw has been doing that this season. And if you look at Manchester United's last two games, Man United against Burnley and Spurs combined have nearly had 50 shots on goal. That's very much to do with the fact that we're playing three centre-backs and we've got Shaw and Valencia overlapping on the wings, creating more space for not only Shaw to get crosses in and chances in and shots in like he scored against Leicester. It helps the players around him as well. And that's another major reason why Shaw has made such a transformational difference to this United team is the space that he creates, not only for himself with his runs, but for others. Last year, Sanchez or Martial, Defenders could easily double up on them because they knew that no left-back was going to be overlapping down the left-hand side. That's changed now that Shaw's come in. With Shaw making those runs, defenders have to mark those runs. And by doing that, Sanchez can find himself more space. Like he got the cross in for Lukaku's first against Burnley. Fantastic cross. That space wouldn't have existed had Shaw not been involved in that. And that's what I'm saying about a modern-day fullback. For me, it's the hardest position, I think. You've got to be have the endless engine to run up and down the pitch the whole 90 minutes. And Shaw has played all four games, all 90 minutes in every single match so far. Scored against Leicester, his first ever professional goal. It's just coming up Millhouse for Shaw right now. Another thing that Shaw really brings is the fact that United can play a high-press interception with him on the left-hand side because he's got the energy and the pace to do it. Now, if United can recover the ball higher up the pitch, it means that when we attack, the defence is out of shape. They're less organised, less deep. It makes the likes of runs from Lingard and Lukaku a lot more dangerous. It means balls can go over the top in behind space. Recovering the ball early, high up the pitch, makes a big, big difference in that. And Shaw is a major factor in that down the left-hand side. The left-hand side is the best it's looked since Shaw and Memphis started back before Shaw got injured against PSV. And also a big thing for me is the crossing. Because as I said, Ashley Young, as good as his crosses can be, he runs to the left, he cuts back inside with a feint, and he swings it in with his right. That's a slow movement. It slows United right down, gives the defence the time to set up much deeper and much better in the box. Now with Luke Shaw, if he can overlap on the left-hand side and whip it in with his left, an early ball, that gets in behind the defenders. They're the sort of crosses that Lukaku is going to thrive on that we need from the left and the right hand side. Antonio Valencia, if he fires a good cross in, he just closes his eyes and smacks it. And on the left hand side, if Ashley Young was there, he would cut inside. So Luke Shaw crossing on his natural left foot as a natural left back, lo and behold, it's better. And it gives the earlier crosses that Lukaku hopefully can make a big 
big difference with this season. I think we'll get quite a few goals with that. And that's all going to be down to Luke Shaw and his movement at left back. And a major reason United were weak last season was a real lack of tempo in breaking out of defence to attack. And Shaw can make a big difference to that on the left-hand side. Once again, the ability to speed through the transitions from defence to midfield to attack improves with Luke Shaw playing so well. Now, counter-attacking has always been part of United's traditions and history. Some of my favourite goals have always been on the counter-attack. Remember Ronaldo away in the Champions League against Arsenal? Mm, sensational. Now, we've got the players in the squad to do that. And I'm not saying Luke Shaw being in good form all of a sudden means we can counter-attack. It just gives us a different option down the left-hand side. And by having more options, you create more space. You stretch your position, you're less predictable. Having fullbacks that do that in the modern game is so vital. It's exactly why Pep Guardiola struggled in his first year and blew it away in his second year. Because he spent so much on big wing-backs. And it's made a big difference to how Guardiola plays. And for me, United this season, sure, it feels like a new signing. It massively does. And it's going to transform our shape down the left. Can Diogo Delot do the same on the right-hand side? I very much doubt it. He's a 19-year-old kid. But he looked good for the under-23. He saw a cross that he did. And again, the same thing, a whipping a cross in on your natural foot on the right-hand side. Antonio Valencia doesn't seem to do that anymore. He can't run past the player. He can't dribble past the player. He can't really cross. He's very good at defending, very good at organising, and very hard to beat. But in terms of a modern-day fullback, Antonio Valencia doesn't offer it, and Ashley Young certainly doesn't either. And that's why I'm so excited by what I've seen so far with Luke Shaw this season. You know, with Shaw in the team, I think United are faster in the attack. I think we're more unpredictable in the attack. I think we've got more options in attack. I think I'm looking forward to seeing the partnership that's going to build between Lukaku and Shaw in terms of when they both understand each other's timings of the run and when the ball's going to be played into the box. I think Lukaku's going to score a few headers off crosses from Shaw. And I just feel like we're a much better balanced team overall with Luke Shaw at left back. It gives United real shape going forward but also, it gives Mourinho the knowledge, safe in the knowledge that he's got a fullback at left back who's capable of getting back into position and not leaving huge spaces. Remember, Spurs away last season, Ashley Young, ball over the top from Davinson Sanchez. Ashley Young couldn't do anything, didn't have the pace to get back. Luke Shaw does. And Luke Shaw, for me, has made a massive, massive difference at the start of this season. For me, he's one of the most important players so far this year. And I think he'll be a massively important player across the whole of the season. And I just want to say a big congratulations to Luke Shaw himself because through hard work, grit and determination and a will to succeed, he's overcome the sort of injury and couple of years that would end a lot of careers. It didn't end Luke Shaw's career. He could have lost his leg after the PSV injury, but he worked and he worked and he worked and he came, overcame adversity after adversity after adversity to get to the position where he's in now where he's won our Player of the Month for the first month of the season and he's back in the England squad. So I want to say a massive well done to Luke Shaw. Keep it up this season. But that is exactly why I think he is so important to United this season. If he can keep up this sort of form, I'm very optimistic about how we look in attack this year. Because the fullbacks bring the width. And United need width in this team if we're going to unlock defences. Without it, we become narrow, the defence becomes narrow, we resort to long shots or balls over the top. Luke Shaw changes the dynamic of that. But what do you think about Luke Shaw? How do you feel he started the season? Do you think he's really that important to United or am I over exaggerating? Let me know in the comments below. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. If you're new in town, take it easy.